thing. Whoa, the trees look a little different. That's not what the tree normally looks like. There we go. Over. And we can run it directly. Oh, so it just snaps to the base right there. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we are back playing Sunken Land. And for today's episode, we are going to look at the new update that they have recently come out with. It looks like they have added a new power system to the game. So I'm not exactly sure what all are the changes at the moment. I had the list up in front of me. Also looks like that they've added a new weather system. So that's completely new. And actually this looks like it's a little different too. It has a has a little bit of a different texture to it. Oh yeah, they said that all the connections on our previous generators will be broken. So we're gonna have to reconnect all of our power supply systems that we had before, which were running on fuel. And oh yeah, that's different too. So that was our small generator, which now has a display screen on it. Interesting. And all the connections to it are broken, so I can't turn anything on. Yep, okay, so we're gonna have to reconnect everything so that we can use our equipment again. And I wonder if this has a screen on it and if it's facing the right direction. I might have to pick that up and move it and swap it around. I don't know, but the texture on it did change. I don't remember this being that same color, so whatever that is. But yeah, so let's check it out. Let's see what we have that's different. Let's go to the workbench over here or whatever it is research table and let's see what what they've added here so we've already cleared out a lot of things in our previous episodes oh they did add a sleeping bag so apparently we can put the sleeping bag on a island and use it to sleep through the night which will be handy now I'm not sure it says it's temporary so oh it destroys after you use it so I don't know if it says one resurrection so is that after you die and spawn there or can you actually sleep there and reuse it so we're gonna have to figure that out then we also have some new things here oh yeah we have a rubber floor this is going to relate to the new power system that they've incorporated i think that we have now like a, a wind turbine or windmill or some sort and then also a solar panels and things like that. So we get to experiment with that. Well, we have a power hub. So I think we're gonna have to, oh, I'll have a junction box and a small battery. Wow, that's a lot of stuff here. Okay, now what's over here? So we have the heavy machine gun, which I haven't built yet. The detector, the table lamp, a lightning rod. Weird, okay. So 50% chance of absorbing it when, okay. <laughs> We still need to work on our wording a little bit here, guys. It looks like we have a military backpack now. Now, I remember seeing, like, blueprints for this, but I don't think we were able to make it before. And what is this? Plastic. Do we have plastic? Is plastic new? I think plastic's new, right? I think... Was I thinking of glass? Okay. So plastic is new. And it uses duct tape and rubber. Well, that's good because, man, we don't really have a lot that uses the duct tape. I mean, yeah, I've been, like, storing a ton of duct tape somewhere over here. Uh, how, how, where is all my stuff at here? Where's my duct tape? There we go. So we have duct tape, and I don't know if they've, yeah, okay. So the prior update to this update, which is, this update is the 0.2.5 test branch update and before they had increased the storage size of your of some of the more important items because they had it like limited to like one storage space i think it was mainly on these yeah these were like one took one so now did i just add that to my inventory so now let's okay so all right we'll have to figure that out so it looks like that maxes out at five and we have a blueprint over here for a floor, so we can learn that. I don't know why that's in our inventory. Interesting. All right, let's put some of this stuff up. Let's see, let's put that in there. I haven't been collecting the furniture items, but maybe we'll collect a few. We have some boots. Those are one. 
I think also we can do something with the clothing now. We can break it down or we can sell it now or something that's a little bit more useful so we're not having to just throw it away or, or whatever. There's something with that. I have to see and look at the notes. And then also we have the iron thing. Oh, that's different. Oh, that looks... So they did actually update the models to some of the stuff. I don't even know what this does. We, we used it before to... I think a breakdown, I don't know what it's for actually. I have to, it doesn't say what it is. That was one of the last things I added to the game. <laughs> so I don't remember, but we have to add new wires to everything. So what do we need? I don't even know where to start. We need like rubber or something, right? So let's grab some rubber. And did the hotkeys still work? Okay. So where? And let's see, let's look over here, see what's different. This is our crafting station. I know they updated some things with the guns. I'm gonna have to remember everything. So yeah, I wanna experiment with the power system and let's see what our ammo is. Where is our ammo at? We have pistol ammo and I do not have any rifle ammo, it looks like. So I need to make some of that. And I don't know. I think we might need, maybe we'll need some power for that. But we need copper and smokeless powder. So let's see if I have any smokeless powder over here. I don't remember where I'm keeping my smokeless powder. It's been a little bit since I've been in here. Here we go. And there's our smokeless powder. Then let's see if we have any copper. Let's see, copper or brass or whatever it was. There's copper ore. I might need to smelt some down. There's five ingots right there. And that might be all that I have. So we might need to add this to get cooked over here. So let's... Why can I not add... There we go. I feel like the, the hitboxes are a little different here for adding things okay so let's come over here and make some rifle ammo all right that used up all of that and let's put that back wherever I had it before so yeah we'll put it back in there and so we have that cooking but I don't have any wood we need to get some wood so we're probably gonna need to go to one of the islands hopefully the trees have grown back let's look out the window there um, and we have our combat knife. Oh, they did like nerf the combat knife to where you can't whack a tree with it anymore. So I think they said to use a machete instead. If I read the notes right. So I think, do we have a machete? I may not have one. I don't see that I have one. Let's look over here. Uh, I got an, I got an ax. And... Yeah, because I don't think we're going to be able to use... Yeah, that's a combat knife. So apparently there's a machete, which I only get every so often. And I, and I didn't use them before because the combat knife was so good. But now it looks like they nerfed the knife. So let's go test it over here. I think there's a couple of trees. Uh, let's see. So before, we were able to use the combat knife and it was like, whoa, the trees look a little different. That's not what the tree normally looks like. Interesting. There's a lot of updates here. Where? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. So, yep. Definitely not to wax anymore with that. That's a bummer. Man. Okay. That's okay. That was more of a glitch anyway. So let's see. Yeah, so it's this typical four, four wax, I think, with the axe. Two, three, four, yep. All right, so it's four wax. And the only thing about the axe is it's like, you know, it's kind of a pain in the sense that it's slow. And the combat knife, I could actually fight with it as well. And it did a lot of damage. Oh, we're full. Wait. I just saw a blueprint over here. Oh, we have a blueprint. Okay, we're we'll about to come back and get that. 
because I don't have any space in my inventory. We need to put some wood in the furnace. Get over here. And we'll just throw some wood in there. Get wood here. And wood there. Get some wood over here. Oh, wait. Did I get wood in there? I guess so. Needs. We need, doesn't need any wood. Do we need to pump this thing? Is that the water thing? So add wood, has wood. Oh, add seawater, that's what we need to do. Add the seawater. Let's get some water. I'm already hungry again. Get the seawater going. And should be able to drink that, right? No, not, is it not any? I guess there's none in there. Let's see, what do we have for food? And number seven is our rifle. So we can use this to take out a bird. Oh, we got to reload it, right? Wait, does that not take... Oh, that takes sniper ammo. I got like, the wrong... I need to make some sniper ammo now. So can we take out one of these birds? Yep, got a bird there. Oh, is that a shotgun? That's, I thought that was the other thing. Shotgun's sight looks a little wonky. Look at the uh, three bird meat. Yeah, see it's, oh, it's weird. It kind of moves a little bit. You guys see that little dot where the crosshair is and then where the red dot is, it's a little off. So I don't know. Got that bird. Smackaroo. And then we'll go cook up some meat. I need to get some more wood over here. Let's see, find some wood. There we go. It's usually some laying around. There's uh, some strawberries. There's our little buddy, the crab. And we can get the crab, right? That's still gonna work. Oh, he takes a little more, a few, a little more wax. Oh, dang. I am overloaded again. We gotta empty out our inventory a little bit. So let's take the food. Oh my gosh. Let's add some wood, add the meat. Really wish we could put more than one piece of meat down. That would be nice. And what do we have in our inventory? We need to get rid of the wood. We have wood over here. I think I'm putting my wood, where the heck, right there. Um, and the metals, I believe are going right there. Okay, we got worms and seaweed stuff. I think I'm putting over here. I'm trying to remember where I put everything. That is, I think we can eat that. And worms, we got some food there, a little drink. And then this will reduce thirst and hunger. Does it reduce it or can we eat it? Okay, yeah, that fills us up. And then we have 75 on the rifle ammo. I think, I think I need some shotgun ammo. For some reason, it seems like my ammo is all gone. And then we need sniper ammo. So I messed up on making the wrong kind of ammo. So we can take all of this and then put it, refill it all back up. I just had some water. Oh crap. We got to switch over to the shotgun. We're being attacked now, of course. As soon as I get in a game, we get attacked. Hey guys, jeez. Uh, there they are. They're on that side. Dang. Okay. That dude. Where's the other guy? They're down below. Reload real quick. That's still just one reload thing. Oh, get two. Oh god dang. Where are you at? He's right there. I'm afraid to open the door because as soon as I open the door they start popping in. Where'd you go? Got him. Let's go. Oops. Shut the door, man. Okay. Uh let's go over here to the front, because that 
is where they'd like to come in at. Oh, jeez. Okay, and repair our armor real quick. There we go. We'll do a little reload. Where's the other guy at? There he is. There we go. Anybody else? Oh, oh, we got one other dude. Where the heck are you? Holy crap. It's showing me. He's behind me somewhere. What? Where is he? Oh, jeez. He's right there. Holy cow. Okay. I was afraid he was glitched to the ground again. Oh, we still have a bad guy somewhere. Right? We have the music for the bad guys still. Oh yeah, there is somebody over here somewhere. Hmm. Sun's going down. Let's look on this side. It's not up in our business, is he? Oh, there he is. We got another guy messing with our. Yo, dude. Why ain't not gonna hit? Alright, there's a guy over here, too, jacking with our. Yo, easy. Easy. Wait, there's another guy? Yo. Settle down. Alright, so take all. Get up here. The bags seem to be floating more on top of the water so that's a little different normally they're like kind of sunk into the water take that oh yeah like that they're usually something let's see we've got like some good stuff there all right let's come over here see what we got over in this area oh we were not able to hold all of this to come back for that and the crab still still need to get the crab what all did we get here would be nice to have some more inventory space maybe that's what the other mill i don't know why it says so over here yes yeah, this military backpack i need to research it but i'm already wearing it <laughs> so i don't know it's kind of weird um okay what do we have here so we have some fuel some Gun parts. Let's put all the gun parts up over here. Gosh, I don't have any space for all that. All right, let's throw that in there. Guess we're gonna put our weapon, the knife, in there for now. Then more gun parts up here. And let's see. Now we have the. Let's get this out of here. And get these all switched out. Okay. I feel like the, the the wood is lasting a little longer too, you know, which is would be great because we were going through wood like crazy. So sniper ammo requires copper and that. So we need some of this and then let's make some sniper ammo. That's what I meant to make the first time around. Okay, so we made sniper ammo. And we can put the other ammo that we have over here. Because I don't... Uh, sniper. Okay, so that is for... We have the sniper weapon here. Oh, I do have that gun. That takes rifle ammo, so we'll, we'll keep that. Then we have sniper ammo there. And then we'll just move that over to there. I like that we can move our stuff over to there. That was not a thing before. Need to organize this place a little better. All right, guys, so got all my inventory cleared up and cleaned up a little bit. So now let's check out what we need to get over here. We need to get, we need to research the plastic. So we need that and we need the lightning pole. And I, do I need to do the backpack? I guess we'll do the backpack. And then something over here. Yeah, yeah, all right. We need a rubber flooring stove. I think I have a stove already. No, we need a power hub, a junction box, a small battery. We've got a lot of stuff over here. 
All right, so we need some duct tape and rubber. Okay, we have that. I'm not sure how much we need. And then we need some iron ingots. Okay, have a few of those. Some, what do we need? Some advanced components, I believe. Okay. And how many advanced? Okay, just five of those. Some electronic parts. Okay, we need some of those. Some iron, of course. Let's get some iron. And some more whatever components. And plastic. How do we do plastic? I don't I don't think we have plastic. That's a new thing. Do what where and how do we make plastic? Let's go get this other stuff. Research this other stuff real quick. Okay, we need I need I need the modern parts. So let's go grab the modern parts. Where do I have any of those? I have to make some. There we go. There we go. Oh wait, what is this? Titanium strips. I wonder what those are for. That's something that we made, but that's what that other thing over here. This thing, I think, is what makes the titanium strips. But I, I don't know what we use it for. I don't think that was made yet in the game. So let's research that. And research the plastic capabilities. So that should show up somewhere. And then now we can do the rubber flooring. And we need some glass for the power thing. Plastic and plastic. We need some cloth and some leather. Okay. Let's go get cloth and leather, which is, that's a new thing too. Not many things have used leather before. There's, because I have a ton of it. And then we need cloth. Should have some cloth over here. And now the sun's coming up and do some cloth. What was the other thing? Glass. We need cla glass for the power hub. I have a ton of glass somewhere. There it is. Okay, so now we just need to figure out plastic. So there's the glass. Okay. So. What next? I guess we'll research the stove while I have this in the floor lamp. Might as well, since we're going to be using power stuff now. Which will be exciting because the power thing has not been something that's used very much. Like, I tried to use the lights and everything, but you, you run out of fuel so fast that it just wasn't worth it. What do I need? I need cotton, right? So, cotton. How many do I need for cotton? I don't know more cotton. I, I, I might have some up there actually. Let's see how much cotton did we need for the other thing here. This thing. Just one. Okay so we researched that. I'm not going to worry about I never use these small things. We might start using them if they prove to be powerful. Now we need to make the junction box and a small battery. Is that a different kind of battery? I don't know. So here's our ammo thing, and let's see, so this is our recycler, and where do we make, where do we make the stuff, so you, we don't make the backpack here? Huh. Uh-oh, we have, alright, so now I can get the sniper rifle out, we have guys coming in again. Okay. Not sure which reticle to use on this thing. Oh. Okay. Just got all healed up and everything, guys. Stop that stop. There, yo. There we go. Who else we got? Somebody, of course, this dude whacking our base here. There we go. 
gosh. What are you wearing for armor? Okay, we got a crab. Get the crab. Okay, reload. We've got those dudes. One thing I've noticed is it seems like that it seems like these guys are dropping more resources now. So that might be nice. Lots of gun parts. What? I'm full already? There we go. Do need a little bit better, bigger storage would be nice. You know, like two more rows would be a great thing. We just space. All right, collected all of the stuff from all the bodies out there. Now I have another knife and we have some more broken parts. I don't know if there's any new weapons or anything, so we're gonna have to look at that. Get a few other supplies. I need to go over and check out what I missed in our little starter cave. Looks like there's a new blueprint over there. I don't know if it's one that we have already. So let's go do that. As I figure out where to put some of the stuff. I'm just gonna put the boots in there right now. Seaweed, we can eat that. Charcoal. Go get our food over here. Put another chicken leg up. Okay. So let's go over here. Some sticks laying around. We have a box so we can get some price of food out of this. Yeah. Alright. I don't need all this torch and ducky stuff. Take that. Now what is this? Is this something that we already researched? I'm sure it is. Oh, that's no it's not. That is a air tank thing. Okay, that's new. So we got we got an air tank that we can make. Or a diving tank, I guess. Alright, so we need to make what do we need to make? We need to make the thing over here. So not in So do we have any new machines that we need to make first for like making plastic? See the ammo, black powder, armor, biofuel I have, electric furnace, that's what we have over there. That is the thing I was trying to figure out what it was earlier. So, okay, and okay, we do have the power hub and the lightning rods are right here. So we can add that to our thing. We have these made and we need to build that. Do we have any new boats or anything. I think they tweaked the boats. Oh yeah, and also one of the islands now is only accessible with the helicopter. So you cannot get to it in a different way. So you have to you have to use the helicopter, which is kind of cool. I like that. And let's see here. Well, nothing we so we have some lights that we recently got blueprints for. And then this are, these are our building materials. Where is this the rubber flooring? Okay, so that's the rubber flooring. So we need to make that. Because I believe you can only place like the lightning rod or I don't know, one of these things down onto the, the floor. But I thought there's solar panels. Let me look here. There's solar. Yeah, there's a wind turbine and a solar panel. Where the heck do we make that at? How do we make a solar panel? Is that here or do we build it in our inventory thing? Okay, there's our backpack. We've already, we already have one, so I don't think I need to make it. Um, let's look over here. Nope. Rope. Okay. And then how about our missions? Are our missions still? Okay, they haven't really been updated. So we've already done all of the mission things. And these are our blueprints. So this is everything that I've found so far in the game. Maybe we have to find a blueprint for the windmill. I'm curious. Okay, so these are the ones that we need to unlock. So what are, what are the two helicopter ones? Oh, that's a picture of a helicopter, but it's a windmill. 
So we have to find a windmill blueprint. Oh my gosh, we have to find the, the blueprint for that too. And okay, so what about these other ones? We have new gun parts. These look right. Okay, let's check through these real quick. What was that? Okay. Um, yeah, I have most stuff. So all right, so we have to, we have to find the blueprints for the windmill and the blueprints for the solar panel. And that's the glass blueprint. Okay. Well, crazy. And we have to figure out how to make plastic. I didn't see how to do that yet. <laughs> uh, where do we make plastic? Do we normally like it's those kind of resources are in here. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we need rubber and duct tape. We have lots of that. Let's do some rubber. Let's see. Oh yeah. Get some rubber there. And I have a feeling we're going to need a bunch of that. Where's all the rubber at? There it is. And then duct tape. Let's get, let's, let's get a bunch of this right now. And so we just make this in our inventory thing. Okay, so let's just make as much as we can. 12. I feel like we're going to need more than that. So that requires some more rubber. Be nice to actually use some of this stuff up and have a reason for it. Let's do more. There we go. All right. We'll put this back for now. And now we have our rubber. Got the rubber. Um, put that on. Is it cooking? Yeah. Okay. And we need the rubber for those things. So we need... It's weird. It doesn't show on okay so that's the lightning rod so we need the rubber for the battery advanced parts over here so we need advanced parts and what, what else do we need advanced parts circuit boards and iron okay so we have iron circuit boards and the other weird wonky stuff. I might be able to make a lightning rod now. That right there. And rubber flooring, so we need more rubber. I don't know how much rubber flooring we need in metal. Or scrap, whatever. Okay. So now we can make the battery thing over here. Research the batteries. Right there. And right there. Nice. So now we have batteries. We've made some plastic. Now we need to make the rubber floor. So is that under the build material? Yeah. Oh. So how does that... How do we... Do we need to make it before we can stick it down on something? doesn't seem to want to go down. Weird. Okay. How does that work? Let's see. Rubber floor. Insulated floor. How do we use that? I'm trying to put it down. It doesn't seem to want to go down on anything. No? Is it... Uh... Oh, okay. So it's a, it's actually like a floor floor. So it, I thought it gets placed on. Wait a second. What in the heck? So is it a floor or is it a? <laughs> Why does it now go on top of this? And it didn't a minute ago. That's weird. So can I put it? Oh, I can put it there. All right. I guess we'll we'll leave that there for now. Then let's see about a lightning rod. I should put the lightning rod up high. And where do we make that at? Let's see. There it is. Uh, that's more advanced parts. So we have the lightning rod and the power hub. Okay, I feel like the power hub is going to be pretty important. 
So Power Hub requires some of this and we need more. Wait, what do we need? We need advanced parts. Okay. There we go. So now we can make over here, build a lightning rod. Okay. Not sure where to put this at. So let's go put it up. I'm guessing like maybe we'll put it by our helicopter. What do you guys think? Let's see, we can kind of turn it right there. Oh, it's got like a little attachment point, it looks like. So maybe, can't really tell which way it's going. All right, so maybe we'll put it like this. Maybe higher is better. I don't know. And then, let's see. We need the power hub. Oh, dang, I'm out of glass. I'll just use the glass, I guess. Glass. And... Power hub, I'm assuming, is going to distribute the power between the various devices, I guess. Now, does that need to go on a rubber mat? Like, I seem to remember something in the notes about you need to have a rubber mat down. Let me look at that, but let me get this other thing. Well, actually, all right, let me, let me, let me look real quick. One second. All right, so it looks like that we need to build more rubber floor. I'm hungry already. More rubber floors and that all the devices that are to collect power from the sun, the wind, and lightning. So those are three different power sources that we have. Need to be all put on the rubber floors. So let's see, what do we, how many rubber floors can we make? And what does that resource take again? So let's go here. Oh no, shoot. What does it make? What does it take to build a rubber floor? So we can do 16 or no, wait. How many is it require? requires four of those? Okay, let's grab some rubber. I'm just going to get a bunch of this and then we're going to grab some more metal scrap and then let's go cover the top of our base in the rubber flooring i think actually and also let me get the hammer thing too we're gonna need to pull up some stuff so we need our hammer tool if i can find it all right grab some tools here so that we can use these to adjust our flooring so let's swap that in there then our hammer go there now, can I pick up with the box? Can't pick up the floor. So maybe with this? Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. We did get our materials back, so that's good. Okay. So hopefully that'll disappear. And now how does this flooring thing work? Let's do the floor. Now, does it snap? See, it's snapping over there onto that pole, but it... It's not going on here, so do we need to snap it onto? Does it need? Do we need to replace it on a foundation thing? Uh, that's gonna suck if I have to put all poles up here. Okay, so let's do this since we have to start with maybe a new foundation. Let me make a. We're gonna make a solar wind energy pad over here. So. What do we, what do we need to start with here? Um, let's do a pole. Okay, so we're gonna put a pole right there. And then I guess we'll do one here, one there. Yeah, 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 okay. And let's do a pad. Okay, so these are like floors. So they don't go on top of a floor, they they are the floor. So let's put one right, come on, get over there. Go oh, right there, right there, right there. And then put another floor. Okay, so let's do this here. Um, build a set of stairs right here. Why, why the, where are my stairs at? There we go. Stop, do, stop doing that. 
Okay, so we'll put the stairs there and then we'll put another set over here as well. There we go. All right, so now we have some stairs and then what we can do for a little trick, a little build trick here, put a pole right there, one right here, one right there. Now we should be able to put a floor underneath those poles. So let's, yeah, here we go. Uh, it's not doing it now. Okay, it's going that way. Weird, okay, so if I go down here, that's not doing it. Maybe, oh, you know what? I think here's what I need to do. Let's see, put a thing. Can I attach it to the bottom? It's not attaching. Crud. Okay, so let's do this. Let's build this out here. Put one there, there. And I need to make a normal floor. So, can I not put one right there? That's a wood floor, wait a second. How does that? That looks different to me. Okay, weird. It's not letting me put it to the side now. Why is that? It should let me put it out there. Okay. Same with that one. All right, I may have to do that off camera. I'm not really sure. Demolish that. And then, that's odd. It normally should let me put a floor right there, but I guess not. So we'll take this off. All right, got it, got it figured out. Kind of, sort of. So now we put a pole there, pole there, pole there. I should be able to extend this floor out. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. All right. Okay, good. So now we can take these. All of these like floaty little spots, I want to fill in with glass. So that's why I'm like uh, leaving them just kind of hovering. But this will allow us to move our thing. So I think we should be able to move this, right? Yeah. Item. Okay, that's crazy. Item, it's placed into there. So now we should have our lightning rod uh, and we can put it over here. So let's, let's turn it. Yeah, that's the right way. Put the lightning rod there. It says the higher the better for like the windmill and stuff. So I'm assuming it's the same for the lightning rod. I don't know how high we want to go, but I think we're going to start off at this height right now. I mean, you know, this is pretty high. This is higher than those rocks. So now we need to put, or now we have a, a space to put our, um, what are we, the solar panels and the windmill. Not sure how big those are going to be, but we have those spaces now. So let's go to our build thing. We still have to build the power hub. So here's the power hub. So I'm assuming this has a display on it, maybe? Can't really see what it looks like. Looks like that's the main front switch. So let's put the main switch kind of like right here. That way we can walk up the stairs. Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, cool. So now we need to make some wires. So let's put the box up here. So we need to install a wire that requires one rubber and we can run it directly. Oh, so it just snaps to the base right there or does it need to snap? Okay, so that's nice. That's nice and clean to be able to snap to the base like that. So now we have a wire going from here and it looks like power zero. F is, that turns off and on. So one power, and then it says wire one rubber of 20. Now is that because I have 20 
Barber? No, I only have one. So maybe that's that's one of one. So that means we have we can have 20 connections to this power thing. So now we need to make a I think a battery is one of the things. If I if I know like how these games go, we should run our power into a battery for some storage. So let's where do we build the battery at? Here's the battery, so I can build these right now. That's oh, a junction box. Okay. And then we have, so I wonder, do we run everything to a junction box and then to our, because what's the power hub? Power hub displays the current battery status of the connected power grid. Okay. The junction box, you use a junction box to plan the wiring of the house. Okay. So that, I guess the junction box is basically where we run all of our wiring to. And then we have the small battery. So let's make a, I wonder, I wonder if there is a large battery. So this is our battery. Maybe we'll make a little battery bank area here. So let's, let's make a little battery bank. And we got one. So <laughs> I need to get some more supplies. So let's do that first. All right, got more supplies. So I think we can make a couple of more batteries. I'm not sure how many we need, but let's uh, just put them side by side for right now, and then maybe we can reorganize them if we need to later. Oh, golly, that takes a lot of stuff. Okay, wait, that is, wait, hang on. All right, got more parts for that. I, I wanna have as many batteries as possible. What, I am ran out again? <laughs> okay, I ran out of iron thing. We're gonna have to go get some iron soon. Now let's see about installing wires. So it looks like we need to run the wires to this thing here, I guess. So let's run, cause this says the power distribution power hub displays the current battery status. So I wonder if I have the lightning rod going to the right place. I'm not really sure. So let's run a wire. I mean, it let it, it let us run a wire to it. So that's good. Let's uh, do that again. Run a wire. And I guess we can just stick it like that, right? Or should we make it a little prettier looking? Can we can we do like multiple? Yeah, there we go. So we can like run it like this and then into there. And then run another wire like this. I'm just doing this just to see if it, there we go. So we can run multiple things here. And we'll just, this wire like that this should just help me keep everything organized uh so it looks like we have 9299 either capacity or that's how much power we have i don't know if these start off already filled with power it looks like we can still install no it just it's all full okay so the battery goes here lightning comes in to there Maybe it stores battery power to there. That is, what is that? Okay. So that just is, all right, let's see what's going on. So now we need to put the power, just the power other thing, junction box. Okay. So here's a junction box and we can put that, I guess, on the wall. Like where does the junction box go? It doesn't seem to have a place. Do we put it on the wall or something? Is that, is that what we do? Yeah. Okay. So the junction box goes on the wall. So maybe we'll put it right here, like right up there. There we go. And then now, because now we can run, oh, where is that coming from? Okay. So now we can run maybe from our generator to our junction box. There we go. And then a wire to the junction box. Oh no, a junction box connected to a generator can only connect to generators, junction box switches or power centers. What? A junction box connected to a generator can only connect so I don't know what that means. So does this, 
still connect here. Power consuming equipment can only be connected to power centers, junk junction boxes, and other power consuming equipment. That doesn't stay on the screen long enough. So we can't connect it there. Hmm. So, so what do we put that, connect that to? Uh, that's a small generator. That's a junction box. What is the other thing? There, there was no other thing, right? Okay, so power consuming equipment can only be connected to power centers, junction boxes, and other power consuming equipment. So maybe maybe I need another junction box. Let's see. Let's make another one right next to it. And then let's put a wire. Okay, so we can't connect there. But I don't understand. Can we can't seem to connect any wires to that junction box. Oh, no, don't eat that. Dang it. Eat that one. Huh. So that says install a rubber wire. That doesn't say install a rubber. Oh, there it is. So it's only on that side. So one of ten. So then we can run... Let's see this thing right here, right? This requires power. Okay. And I don't think these require power over here, but that does. And then we can put, okay, C, put another power thing over there. Okay, so we should be able to pop a power thing. Oh, that goes all the way to that point. Okay, put a power thing there, and then we need to run power from this generator to go up, over, there, and will it connect into there? No, it doesn't. Oh, but it does. That's weird. It connects into there. Now, that's so weird. So, so we have two generators connected into this doodad. It looks like we can put a wire there. Can't connect it to this thing. Junction box to an electrical appliance. Uh, what does that say? A junction box connected to a generator can only connect to generators, boxes, switches, or power centers. So... Okay, is this a power center? I don't know what a power center is. But maybe this is the power center. Oh yeah, okay, so it connects to here, maybe to charge the battery? All right, so let's do this. Let's just go, that's coming up from down there somewhere. Uh, let's just put it right there. have it go right there okay so that is now I guess so how do we get power to our stuff that is kind of weird so maybe install a wire we'll just go to our junction box let's figure this out and so we know we got to go into that junction box how about this one okay it does all right so it's kind of going so we have two generators connected to this one junction box. So if we turn this on, does it have any fuel? It does not have any fuel. So we lost all of our fuel. Put that in there. And let's just add our fuel. Oh crap, we're getting attacked again. That's just like expected. Let's see how this gun performs. Oh jeez.
this only has two, 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 two uh, uh, I can reloads, two bullets for each reload, but it's a thousand on the reloads, I don't know if that's been nerfed or not. this weapon here. Reload this bad boy. What are you guys doing? Back off. Uh, you. Okay. Anybody else? I thought there was a guy right up there. Um, okay. Got him. There's somebody else sticking around somewhere. Oh. There he is. Alright, we're good. We're good. Alright. And let's put that up. Alright, so we're about to turn this thing on. That was the idea. Activate. Did I not just put fuel in there? I just put fuel. that go down so fast that's literally like going down in seconds so what's happening there is it charging our batteries or anything hey why are you off okay so who turned you off so now we're at 199 209 on batteries does it tell us what these are make storing? We have... Oh, it just went away. So I don't know if we just put all that fuel as electrical battery storage. You know, like inside of here. Because now the fuel is gone. Like it went that fast. Normally this would last for like hours. It's weird. So that went super fast. So I'm wondering, wondering if it... It's converting the fuel generator power into electrical power, or maybe I have this all <laughs> hooked up wrong. I don't know. Let's go get our stuff real quick before it despawns. So I think I have it figured out now. So I have a junction box right here. And then from this junction box is going, it's have wires going to all of the power things. So this table for recycling and then this one for other other this is for recycling weapons this is for recycling other items and then I have two wires going over here to the weird furnace thing that's over here and then also to our little wood table saw thing which I'll just grab some wood from and oops uh, so now from the now to get power to those we have another wire coming out of the top and it is going all the way, oops, dang it, all the way up here. And I have it coming up to the floor following this little yellow line. And then it connects to this thing. And it's basically running off of batteries right now. I don't think we've had any lightning strikes. I haven't seen any weather changes. So apparently we're going to have storms and high winds and lightning and stuff. And then also like there's like some mystery boat that cruises around or something and fish, some different kind of fish that come out only during lightning storms. I don't know. That's weird. So, <laughs> uh, so basically we need some lightning to come in and I, I am assuming that it's going to come into this thing and charge the batteries or, or I need to have it going into a junction box to the battery separately and then maybe from that junction box over to this thing so i haven't figured that part out yet i think we'll know more about that once we once we get the other blueprints so we're gonna have to go and figure that out we're also going to fly our helicopter to that other island also if we go to our map it looks like 
they we have some new blueprints so this is probably new items so this is probably the generator or the wind i mean the windmill and the solar panel generator thing and who knows what this one is it looks like those are the only blueprints that i don't have and everything that's green means that i've been i've already gotten that blueprint and we're gonna have to figure that out so i think in the next episode we're going we're going to go to the islands and get those blueprints and then go check out for the mystery ship and the other fish also another thing that they added on the update which i don't know it's still the map is still a little weird where it has us located it has us located way off of here when i you know i guess it's not it would be nice if maybe they had like a little picture or outline that's somewhat scale of the island you know because maybe the island is like this big or something and it just doesn't look like it on the map because it's really hard to tell where we're at sometimes but this is a huge feature we can now add weight labels to place on our map so i can see i just placed the label there and then and then we right click it to get it away so we can actually put home on here and say okay change the color i like to make that color yellow and then I'm assuming that that will show up somewhere on the map. Like, see how we have these little flag markers around, which are not, for some reason, are not showing up on the map anymore. So we probably have to go back to those markers and replace them in, in our locations. But when we get into the boat and turn around and look back at our place here, it should be labeled home, I'm, I'm guessing. We can take our little super fast sea dew out. I don't know if it's fast anymore. This thing was like 300 miles an hour earlier, kilometers an hour or whatever. But, you know, now maybe it'll actually say home on that marker that we just placed down. I don't see that it's saying anything, to be honest. So let's, is this the trader? We, we should check out the trader also. I'm not sure if there's anything new over here, but it doesn't seem to say, let's look on our map. It does say home on Castaway Island right there, but when I look over there, it doesn't say that. Maybe we have to. Maybe it's only on flags do we get the word. So I'm not sure if we can change the label of the flag, but that would be cool. So I'll have to check that out. So I guess just placing a marker. What does that do? It doesn't even show up, does it? Huh. All right. That's kind of weird. I would have thought that the marker would show up somewhere. So I have a marker placed. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so we do another addition that they added in the previous update to this one was they gave us a compass above or some kind of directional compass thing. And there is a marker there. So I don't see it when I look out above unless it's one of those steering wheel things, but those are usually all of our vehicles. We have a lot of stuff over there. So <laughs> let's look at this and Today's see take whatever. what this girl has. I didn't bring anything to trade, but I'm just kind of curious to look. So it's the same stuff. I don't see anything new here. We haven't figured out what marble is used for either. So I'm curious to see what, because this has been in the game for a while now and I have no idea what it's for. So... Hopefully that will they'll give us a reason to use marble. Maybe it's to make like one of the decorative items or something. I don't know. I've not figured out what that's for. But none of this stuff we can open. And there is a, a repair printer thing here. But it's not really a repair. It's mainly where you can get uh, weapon components from. Looks like they've added a few more items here. I think they did this in a previous update also like these magazines, but these are all the basic level components you need to build your weapon. So in order to build like the, the better weapons, you have to go to Dreadville Island or, you know, that, that outpost over there. So let's go back here and we'll have to explore the Dreadville thing and see if anything's changed. the heck's going on here guys okay so looks like our game just crashed so it I guess saved where we where were last so I'm trying to head back to the place I don't know what happened there just like froze up and 
got like a weird Unity error and all kinds of crazy scripts just started scrolling across the screen. Crazy. I don't remember what I built that thing for either. I'll have to check that out. So let's go over here. But it looks like we didn't lose anything, so that's good. Back in our little sea dude. There we go. Our jet ski. Oh man. All right. Just check in here. Close the door. Oh, that's our bird trap. So that's done pretty well for us. Put our crab on. Okay, so I think I'm going to end the video here and we'll pick back up with trying to go and explore and find the other power station components. So, so far, I kind of like where we're going with the uh, power distribution center and, and these little, I don't know what this thing is called, power hub thing and our little junction boxes. We have a lightning thing, so I, I'm curious to see some lightning and some wind weather changes. We haven't seen anything yet, so I don't know when that happens or what. Like, is it every few days or is it every day? I mean, we've already gone a couple of days here, a couple of night, night cycles and gotten attacked a few times. So I don't know. I don't know when, I don't know when the storm events happen or weather events. So that would be exciting to see. And then also, what does it do when we're out on the water and stuff? Will our sailboat go really fast then? And, you know, will it be hard to navigate? So I'm kind of curious to see how that goes. Or maybe it's in certain areas. I really don't know. So we're just kind of like figuring this stuff out on the fly. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching the videos and leaving all the comments and feedback and stuff. Let me know if you have any other comments to add to this or maybe there's something I got. Maybe if I got this hooked up wrong, let me know what you think on that. If there's a better way to, to run our power system. Also, the generators are now back to like sucking down fuel really fast. So I don't know if I have them hooked up wrong or what, but generally the little generator would take like literally hours to run dry or maybe a, an hour or so. I don't know, a long time. And then this one would usually go really quickly if you had a lot of things connected to it and things like our spotlight. So when we used our spotlights and things, it would just suck the power right out of our, of our system and would use up all the fuel in like a few minutes. So it seems like that's kind of what's happening. So I don't know if we hooked it up like backwards or something and that created like a weird feedback loop or something and sucked all the fuel out of the generator. But I don't know. You guys let me know what you think and we'll figure it out as we go. But like I said, in the next episode, we'll go explore the rest of the map and get the new blueprints and stuff. And appreciate you guys. And make sure you like and subscribe on the video and hit the little notification doodad. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.